proclamations and resolution portion of the six o'clock consent agenda. First item on the agenda is a resolution honoring Commissioner Chuck Fritz, requested by Commissioner Tracy Wandale. Commissioner Wandale, you have the floor. Uh, I believe uh, Commissioner Mays is going to read the resolution. Oh, okay. Commissioner Mays, you have the floor. I'd be honored to read it, but I'll leave Tyler with it if he's got it. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Commissioner Fritz, if you and the family would come forward. Tell us who the family is. This is my youngest daughter, Rachel, my oldest daughter, Leah, uh, uh, Rachel's daughter, uh, Kennedy, and Rachel's daughter, uh, or son. My <laughs> son. Son, I <laughs> promise. Son, uh, Jackson, or Jack. And then uh, Leah's son, uh, Riley. Okay. And the most important one he left off is Debbie, the wife. <laughs> of course, yeah, my wife, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm his wife. <laughs> All right, Mr. Chairman. Um, this is a resolution honoring Commissioner Charles Chuck Fritz. Whereas Commissioner Chuck Fritz has served with great admiration and distinction on this body since 2002, representing District 1 and all citizens of Anderson County, and whereas seldom have we witnessed a county commissioner with more dedication and devotion to his community. Commissioner Fritz has been deeply involved in the Claxton community throughout his life. As a young boy, he lived on the land that is now the Tennessee Valley Authority's Bull Run Fossil Fuel Plant. He personally witnessed the facility initially erected, and now he is living to see the final decommissioning of the plant. And whereas, after graduation from Clinton High School, he furthered his education at the University of Tennessee, where he was a pre-med student studying microbiology. His interest in microbiology led him to a highly successful 45-year career working with the Y-12 National Laboratories, where he became one of the most respected and admired environmental compliance officers on staff. And whereas Chuck brought these same intangibles and pre professional traits to the county commission where he tackled the most difficult tasks, such as, but not limited to, to, stopping the annexation and encroachment of the Oak Ridge city limits to the Claxton side of the river, insisting that TVA discontinue all plans to open its new site J landfill, encouraging TVA to install more fly ash controls construction of water and sewer lines in some of the most difficult areas of District 1, including the area known as Gadsden Town, where the majority of the land would not perk, shutting down the highly ineffective and malfunctioning sewer substation behind Pine Meadows subdivision, pushing for the Tennessee Department of Transportation to repair and widen Edgemore Road, and continuing with his efforts to improve the economic viability of the Claxton community, to name a very few, and whereas, his personality and commitment to his community led him to be one of the most trusted leaders on the Board of Commissioners, where he has served as Commission Chair and assumed leadership roles on the budget, finance, operations, rules, audit, nonprofit, and nominating committees, as well as the Conservation Board, Regional Solid Waste Planning Board, and Adult Oriented Establishment Board. His keen likability and devotion to his duties has made him one of the most trusted and respected county commissioners to ever lead this body. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Anderson County Board of Commissioners meeting in regular session this 19th day of September 2022 that we proudly honor our fellow county commissioner, Charles Chuck Fritz, for his many years of leadership and service to this body be it further resolved that we proclaim September 30th, 2022 as Charles Chuck Fritz Day in Anderson County in honor of his leadership on this body and his devotion to his community. His absence will leave an unimaginable void among his fellow commissioners, but we wish him well in his retirement and future endeavors. Duly passed, resolved, and effected this 19th day of September of 2022. First, I just want to thank the uh, new commission for allowing me to come back tonight, 
since I missed the August meeting. We, uh, my family and I avoided COVID for over two years. We went to Pennsylvania and, uh, uh, for my granddaughter's birthday, took her to New York, and lo and behold, uh, we, uh, me, my wife, and my two grandkids uh, tested positive for COVID. So uh, we were in quarantine during the meeting. So I, I appreciate y'all allowing me to come back uh, uh, tonight. Uh, second, I'd like to thank the five different commissions I served on over the past 20 years that I feel we did a lot to keep Anderson County moving forward. And uh, there's, I don't have a bit of regret uh, of anything we did or didn't do. And, uh, I, and I thoroughly enjoyed my time on this commission. Next, I'd like to thank uh, Commissioner Wandale. Uh, I think we've worked together, what, 16 years now? And, uh, and I think uh, uh, we did a lot to uh, help our district uh, and uh, to see it uh, grow and not only our district, but for all of Anderson County. We kept the best interests of everyone. Uh, then next, I'd like to thank uh, a dear friend of mine who has been with me for 20 years. He started out as assistant law director and uh, uh, under uh, then uh, Dave Clark and, uh, and came on up to be our uh, law director. Over the past 20 years, that man has worked many hours and helped me through many things, trying to get presentations put together, uh, things I wanted to do accomplished, and I couldn't have done it without him, and uh, much gratitude is owed to him. Thank you, Jay. And then uh, next, I'd like to thank my family. You all will know, especially the, uh, the newer commissioners, you're going to spend a lot of time away from your family. And uh, there's going to be a lot of events that you can't go to uh, because of uh, various meetings or commitments that you have as a commissioner. And uh, they uh, stood behind me and uh, backed me the, the whole time. And uh, my wife, you know, sat there at home uh, uh, at night, you know, many nights by herself, you know. But uh, so your family takes a lot of sacrifice. And, uh, but uh, I look forward to seeing what this commission does. And I know y'all are gonna do great things and gonna keep this county moving forward. And, uh, and I'm gonna stay involved and uh, I'll be around and be where he wants to talk in your drill. Go get something to eat. So, uh, <laughs> but th again, thanks a lot. Next item on the agenda is a resolution honoring Jennings Faust requested by Commissioner Wondell. Commissioner Wondell, you have the floor. Come on up, Jennings. I know you ain't scared. <laughs> um, thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, Commission, for this opportunity to read this resolution. I would like to thank my fellow commissioner, Commissioner Chris. I appreciate those kind words and. I've enjoyed serving with you, and you're certainly going to be missed, sir, but uh, we'll be around and enjoy the family and the kids, and uh, appreciate all you did, buddy. Okay. Uh, going to read this resolution for a good friend of mine and colleague in District 1. Um, resolution number 22-09958, resolution honoring Jennings Faust. Whereas Jennings Faust has spent a lifetime serving the citizens of Anderson County as an educator, school administrator, and constable. His charismatic, help me with this word. Charisma. You, you got charisma? Charismatic. Charismatic. You got all those things, don't you? It just depends if you're getting pulled over. That's true. I won't talk about that when I was younger. Personality and ability to positively influence the children and young adults of our community has made him one of the most popular and admired public servants in recent Anderson County history. Now, after nearly five decades of serving Anderson County, he has decided to retire from public service. And whereas Jennings was first elected Anderson County Constable for District 1 in 2002, his dedication, public trust, and honorable service has afforded him the opportunity to be elected to the people to five terms as constable. And whereas, aside from serving as constable for District 1, Jennings also worked for Anderson County School System, retiring in June 2007. Over the course of his school system career, 
He served in many vital positions, including Assistant Director of Business and Director of Food Services, and whereas he has also dedicated his own personal time to being a long-time member of the Claxton Volunteer Fire Department, serving as an active volunteer firefighter and a member of the department's board of directors. And whereas Jennings has been a shining example of the exemplary public servant for well over four decades, his constant involvement in his community shows his dedication, devotion, and love for all Anderson County citizens, from working within the public school system, improving and inspiring the lives of our children and young adults to his faithful service, keeping the peace as constable and protecting life and property as a volunteer firefighter. Fighter. Jennings Faust legacy will long inspire those who come after him. Now, therefore, be it resolved, by the Anderson County Board of Commissioners meeting this 19th day of September 2022 that we honor, congratulate, and express our sincerest gratitude to Constable Jennings Faust for his dedicated service to Anderson County and the citizens of our great county. His service to our county will always be missed and a peaceful and enjoyable retirement well deserved. Be it further resolved that we declare October 1st, 2022 as Jennings Faust Day in Anderson County. In honor of this great man, that will always took the time to place the needs of others before his own. Resolved duly passed and effective this 19th day, September 2022. Signed Chairman Anderson and Mayor Terry Frank. Thank you. Thank you. I won't keep you with a minute. I won't keep you with a minute. What he left off, the only thing he left off, was I served four years up here as a county commissioner, just as you guys are. That was a humbling experience with all of the 15 years I put in getting educated for it. Uh, my hat goes off to each and, one, each and every one of you for, like Chuck said, taking your time to devote to this business for the county. It's very important, and I appreciate the honor that you bestowed upon me. One other thing, since I did serve as a commissioner, if anyone's in need of a proxy vote or not, just call me. <laughs> Th thank you. And the next item on the agenda is a resolution honoring ACHS students who scored 30 plus on the ACT as requested by Commissioner Vandergriff. Commissioner Vandergriff, you have the floor. Thank you very much. We do have a resolution honoring the Anderson County High School students who scored exceptionally well on the ACT. Whereas the American College Testing ACT exam was first introduced in 1959 and since that time has become the preeminent standardized test administered to all high school students hoping to matriculate to pursue others or pursue other secondary education opportunities at colleges and universities, and whereas the ACT is scored from a scale from one to 36, comprised of four sections, English, math, reading, and science, with an optional writing section, and whereas during the 2021-2022 testing period, approximately 1.7 million students took the ACT, with the average composite score being 20.7, in comparison, the average score in Tennessee was 19.3. And whereas a composite score of 30 is considered exceptional and equates to the 93rd percentile among all students taking the test. And whereas 12 Anderson County High School students scored 30 or above on the recent ACT, those exceptional students are as follows. Will Beard, Grant Jennings, Jonathan Oglana, Tate Russell, Kaylee Kennedy, Carlotta Shockley, Kendall Knoll, Gretchen Holloway, Kayla Humphrey, Zach Lester, 
and Just, Justin Wiseman and Nicole, uh, sorry, and Nicholas Reynolds. And whereas those students embody the goal of Anderson County's educational system showing that a bright future is always possible with hard work, sacrifice, and dedication. Now, therefore, let it be resolved by the Anders County Board of Commissioners meeting on this 19th day of September 2022 that we honor and congratulate these students for their dedication to education and their exceptional score on the ACT. Congratulations. And the next item on the agenda is a resolution honoring Deputy Sheriff Stephen Dale Abner by Sheriff Russell Barker. Unfortunately, uh, Steve has not been able to make it tonight. But uh, I'm not surprised, and I'm not going to kid you. I don't think it was uh, he had anything pressing uh, when he submitted his retirement. And on the last day, he told us, I don't want to make a big deal about this. So I'm sure he got wind of this and what we were wanting, and he chose not to come. But uh, Steve, Steve had been a longtime deputy. Um, he was absolutely uh, one of the best we had. Uh, always wanted to make sure that he, he would fill in anywhere we need. So we'll definitely make sure this gets to him. Um, I don't, do you see a need for us to go ahead and read it even with him not present? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Resolution honor, honoring Deputy Steve Dell Abner. Whereas Deputy Stephen Dell Abner has served Anderson County Sheriff's Office and the citizens of this great county since June 22nd, 1992 and Whereas on July 22, 2022, he announced his retirement from the Sheriff's Office with over 30 years of distinguished service uh, under five different sheriffs. And whereas during his career, Deputy Abner served the citizens honorably and faithfully, receiving numerous awards and letters of accommodation for his bravery and exemplary service and the Anderson County Sheriff's Department. And whereas, although his final shift has ended, and he has hung up his duty belt for the last time. Deputy Abner's legacy will always be remembered in the hearts of his fellow officers and the many citizens he positively encouraged and influenced during his career. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Anderson County Board of Commissioners meeting this 19th day of September 2022 that we honor, congratulate, and express our sincerest gratitude to Deputy Stephen Dell Abner for his 30 years of dedicated service to the Anderson County Sheriff's Office and the citizens of our great county. Furthermore, in honor of his service to Anderson County, we authorize the transfer of his assigned duty weapon and badge pursuant to Tennessee Code Antidote 88218 and Anderson County Resolution 10, excuse me, 18-8-702. Be it further resolved that we hereby proclaim September 30th, 2022, as Deputy Steve Abner Day in honor of his service, Anderson County. Resolved duly passed and effected this the 19th day of September, 2022. So, so among the million stories I would like to tell, I just do have one. So I was working for uh, the Clinton Police Department as a patrolman, and I had a gas drive off at the get and go. And um, they got out to the county before we got on scene. Um, so we passed it on to the sheriff's office. And um, pretty later on, Abner said he thought he had the vehicle. And so we, we go out to a location where he's got them stopped. And sure enough, it's the right people. And we were wishing we had a camera with us uh, to take a picture of the suspect and the car because uh, we, weren't, we weren't able to make a, an arrest on that one without a warrant. And so Steve says, yeah, I've got a camera in my car. So he goes and gets it. And so I told the suspect, stand right here, face this deputy, he's going to take your picture. And you know how everybody says cheese? Abner looks at him and says, all right, on the count of three, say 1129. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he took the guy's picture. All right, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you Sheriff. That concludes all the items on the six o'clock agenda. Is there any other business come before us for the consent agenda? If not, we will recess until the 6.30 agenda. <laughs>